Welcome to Jordan. This country is well known for its salty waters of the Dead Sea and its healing mat, red sand dunes of the Wadi Ram Desert, and of course, one of the seven wonders of the world, the lost city of Petra. Hi there, my name is Christina and I love to travel. And I must say that Jordan completely took me by surprise. It is a very unique country with one of the kindest and loveliest people and the best food. I am working a 9 to 5 job with a generous number of vacation days, but no time to be wasted, I travel Jordan in 7 days. Here is how. The chances are that you will be landing in the capital city of Jordan, Amman. Make sure to buy ahead the Jordan Pass, because this will save you a tons of money later. The best way to get around Jordan is to rent a car that you can pick up right at the airport. I don't recommend spending too much time in Amman, but it is a great place to experience delicious local food as well as discover the authentic vibe of the city. In Amman, there are some places that you just cannot miss. Now, if you want to experience typical local food, Hashem restaurant is the place. This famous restaurant among locals has absolutely no menu, but they are famous for their falafel, hummus, mutaba and full. We actually came back there twice. The next place you absolutely have to visit is Jarash. It can be a one day trip from Amman, for us it was a detour on our way to the Dead Sea. Jerash is definitely worth visiting. It is one of the best preserved ancient cities of the Roman era. It is actually called the Pompeii of the East. This is so impressive, look at that. And our next stop was finally the Dead Sea itself. This place is the part of your trip where you can stay in a beautiful hotel resort and just relax. And when you get tired or exhausted of all the swimming and drowning in the pool, just go float to the Dead Sea. Standing on the shore of the Dead Sea, you will find yourself standing at the lowest point on Earth. The Dead Sea has a salinity of around 34%, which makes it one of the world's saltiest bodies of water on Earth. The mud from the Dead Sea has actually some amazing qualities for your skin and for your health overall. The Dead Sea was such a great experience, just floating in the water, it was so nice. I just recommend so much using the mat because my skin feels so nice hours after applying the mat. And one cool thing that we really wanted to do was canyoning in Wadi Mujib. It's a one day trip from the Dead Sea and I absolutely recommend doing it. Uh, but unfortunately it is only open during summer. I guess that's another reason for us to come back to Jordan. We just checked out from the hotel at the Dead Sea and we're gonna go now move on to uh, Wadi Musa. That's the place where Petra is. Uh, I think it's about three hours long uh, drive. recommend that you plan your trip the way that you will spend in Petra the whole day since early morning. Many people think that it's just the treasure that they see on their Instagram pages, but it's much more than that. Make sure to explore all the surrounding towns. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. and we are going to explore Petra today. Uh, we wanted to get up early uh, to avoid some crowds, so uh, we'll see. We just entered Petra and uh, it's actually getting warmer. We 
We've been walking for about one and a half kilometers now and it's the walk is it's breathtaking. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Look. We just saw the stunning treasury and uh, now we are going to explore the rest of uh, the city of Petra. It's quite huge and it's gonna be a program for the whole day, so we're gonna be quite busy. We are back at the hostel. It's been a very long and exhausting day. Amazing though, but exhausting. And the next and final stop is the Wadi Ram Desert. For me, this was my absolutely favorite experience out of the whole Jordan and I recommend not skipping this part of your trip. We are at this absolutely beautiful uh, camp. It's really in the middle of nowhere. So far, I feel like I've been here for five minutes and it's already my favorite experience. It's nothing you've ever seen. So now we are going to go explore this beautiful, beautiful uh, camp. It's so quiet and peaceful here. After that, we have planned to ride the camels. <laughs> Besides enjoying your stay in these beautiful Bedouin camps, I really recommend doing the Jeep tour. desert we are here on this jeep and we're gonna explore it the whole day it's such a unique landscape here actually all the hollywood movies that were uh, supposed to be from out of this world from some other planet were shot right here in this place because of its unique red sand it was movies like the martian or movies like transformers or star wars Today's lunch is going to be in the middle of the Wadi Ram Desert and we're going to have Galayla Galayla? Galaya Galaya <laughs> and it's a traditional uh, food from here it's uh, some beans, onions, uh, tomatoes and we're gonna make it on a fire So delicious, this is actually my third plate no drink <laughs> and I'm gonna make this at home because it's so so good we are on the top of the world and we're gonna watch sunset from right here and one more tip 
I would love to recommend you to stay in the Wadi Ram Bedouin camp. For us, it was the highlight of our whole trip in Jordan. If you are traveling on a budget, don't waste your money on fancy accommodation in Amman or Wadi Musa, but really spend your money here. If you want to treat yourself, this is the place. It's a beautiful morning in a Wadi Ram desert and we just spent the night in this amazing uh, dome tent. They are actually called the Martians. One last thing about Jordan, get ready to see people transporting animals on highways everywhere. So this is Jordan, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it helps you with your own travels and do subscribe and see you in the next video.